One of the most exciting things about watching Power Rangers for me as a kid was waiting to see which monster of the week would be terrorizing the Rangers and the citizens of Angel Grove. Many of these monsters are extremely memorable for one reason or another. Some for their amazing costumes, some for their hilariously ridiculous ones, and some are remembered for just how close they came to defeating the Rangers. In today's video we will be covering the monsters that came closest to taking down the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This will not really be in any particular order, just a collection of those that I think came the closest. Let's get into it. Before we get into it guys, I really want to thank you all for the fantastic support you have shown to my brand new channel, The Bat Cave. We passed 3,000 subscribers in its first 10 days, which is just insane, so thank you all so much. If you haven't checked it out yet, please do. The content is very similar to what we do on this channel, but based on the world of Batman instead. I really hope you like it. Thanks everyone. Now, I'm going to start this video with one that you might not expect. The Samurai Fan Man. Now, what made this one so dangerous was his magical jug. When he first gets sent down to Earth, he manages to take on both Tommy and Kimberly with relative ease. He then traps Kimberly within his mug, which, in reality, doesn't seem too bad. The Rangers would just need to defeat the monster, destroy the jug, and get her out, right? Well, no, in this case, if the jug breaks, Kimberly dies. Pretty tragic consequences. This jug was even a huge obstacle for the remaining Rangers in battle, as when he opened it, it let out a huge gust of wind that would send the Rangers flying. When Fan Man was eventually enlarged to take on their Zords, he was extremely formidable and presented a huge challenge. But of course, the Rangers eventually overcame him and saved the day. Next up, we have the Blue Globble. Blue Globble is a monster with a slightly different origin to the usual monster from Mighty Morphin. He was the first one created by Master Vile. He had the ability to drain powers from others. He managed to absorb the power of Ninja and became too much for the Rangers to handle, eventually transforming into an even more powerful form. But after weakening him enough to set Ninja free, the combined team of the Rangers and Ninja were too much for the Blue Globo, but it was certainly close for a while. Now let's talk about one of my favorite Mighty Morphin monsters ever, King Sphinx. One of Finster's classic creations, King Sphinx was created by a handful of sand from Egypt and clay. Rita had him created with the sole purpose of destroying Jason, the Red Ranger. Rita believed that without their leader, the Rangers would easily be destroyed. His wings literally blew away his competition. King Sphinx teleported Jason to a mountainous desert for a one-on-one -on -one battle. The battle showcased the monster's impressive combat skills, but Jason quickly got the upper hand, as did the team when the Megazord was formed for the first time. King Sphinx has such an iconic and memorable look that he's remembered well by fans today. Hasbro even released a figure of him not so long ago. In fact, we even have a full video on him on the channel. If you want to learn any more about him, you can go and check that out. Next up is the Primator. This primate-like monster called the Primator is well remembered by most fans of the show. His powers weren't just super strength and sharp teeth like you'd expect from a primate-type monster. He was able to transform into the Rangers, not just their teenage forms, but their morphed forms as well. This was a play on the idea that monkeys mimic others. He was given the task of infiltrating the command center and was almost successful. He did so by disguising himself as Billy to gain access. Later on, his shape-shifting abilities prove equally useful. During a battle, he transforms into Trini and makes them question their attacks. Primator could even adapt the ranger powers and make replicas of their weapons. The rangers finally realized once he saw his own reflection that Primator would revert to his original form. This made him all the more susceptible to defeat. He was later resurrected due to being one of Zed's favorite monsters ever from the graveyard of Doomstone. He briefly fought with Tommy, who had recently become the White Ranger, Billy and Kimberly, but after being kicked to the ground by Kimberly, he did not get back up to fight. It was probably due to this incompetence that he was passed over for another enlarging and the pumpkin wrapper was enlarged instead. He likely still remains in the haunted forest today since he has not been seen since. Next, I want to talk about Bones. He is a monster from the first season of the show and had a pretty wide array of powers, including laser eyes, invisibility, 
He was even able to split his body parts into separate pieces that could operate on their own. But most importantly, he had the ability to send the rangers to some form of time warp. While in this time warp, he summoned his skeleton warriors to fight the other rangers while he took on Jason. His plan may have actually worked had he been able to keep the rangers in the time warp for longer, but the fact that his body could be dismembered also turned out to be one of his greatest weaknesses. Now finally, I have left my personal favourite to last. This doesn't mean that I think he is the most powerful, but this certainly is an argument to be made that he has the potential to be. The Wizard of Deception not only has a really cool and creepy design that mixes a fairly simple costume with some basic visual effects to give us a rather unique mask, but he also is responsible for one of my favourite scenes from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, ever. He appeared in Season 2 and was sent by the Ghost of Darkness to destroy the White Power Ranger. The episode gave fans a fun rivalry between Tommy and his Green Ranger clone. The Wizard of Deception was an old rival of Zordon who could make an illusion into reality. After creating Tommy's evil clone, he sent the Green Ranger back in time to the 1700s. The Wizard's clone was even able to call upon the Dragon Zord and was almost successful in destroying both Tommy and the rest of the Rangers. So that is it for today my friends, a quick list of who I consider to be the most dangerous Mighty Morphin monsters. Let me know who you would have included in the comments down below. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you'd like to see more videos similar to this one on other Ranger seasons, picking out the best weekly monsters from those shows, be sure to let me know in the comments down below and let me know which season you think has the best monsters. Please don't forget to go and check out the Batcave channel. Subscribe if you can, it will really help me out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. May the power protect you and I'll see you next time on The Sixth Ranger.